The first one that I want to talk about is, I'll let you talk about the emergency salters, but the more realtors than listings. Um, <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, so there was an article here locally that said there's now more realtors than listings, which is something I've been kind of freaking out about for the last year because there's a mm. lot of people getting their license, which is, I guess, it's good in some level if you're if you're truly interested in the business and prepared uh, to, to grind because right now it seems like it's all roses, but it's, things are going to change, which is what we're seeing here. Mm-hmm. And I don't think this is just a local issue, though. This is an issue that we're seeing across North America where so many people, like the market went up, a lot of people did very well. So then a lot of their colleagues were like, hmm, maybe I'll switch into the industry. And mm-hmm. they did. But at the same time with dropping inventory, now you have, let's say, instead of 10,000 houses, you literally have 1,000 houses. And instead of having 1,000 realtors, you have 3,000 realtors. So yeah. now it just, the pool gets shrunk. And I, ke- I kept saying this. For me, the biggest problem I've seen is a big part of my friend group. Uh, let's say I had 100 friends and I was the only realtor. So everybody would call whether they liked me or not yeah. uh, for good or bad. And now five people have it. So now my pool has <laughs> yeah, been I get 100 cut. realtors and no friends. <laughs> 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 yeah. So now it's been cut uh, a bunch of times and it really, yeah. it makes it a lot more difficult for me to be able to main, maintain a business. Um so anyways, it's it's something for the ones that are realtors that are listening. It's something to be cognizant of, I think, um, because I think this is going to perpetuate. I still know that the courses are booked like the next like three courses are full. The exam yeah. bookings are full. Um, and Which like as an organ, as a no houses as a profession, we may want to revisit like, OK, why? Like, is it n- a negative thing to keep licensing people Um when you know it's gonna, they just keep ca- cashing oh, those checks yeah, to take yeah. people in. But it, you're kind of screwing them too, because it's gonna be a lot of people that come in. And oh man, they're gonna have to go back to something. Not because they're not good realtors necessarily, or they might they might they might make a great realtor, but they can't necessarily be like, oh, I can't live off of one paycheck for the next six months or eight months. Which is is the reality. Very. Real. But that was always the reality back in the day. It was like, all right, even if you sold a property on your first day, it might take ninety days to close. Mm-hmm. Right. So you're not getting paid till three months in. And in that time, you got to pay back the course. You got to pay back your advertising. You got to pay back. Yeah. You know, you had zero income going. To, and then this year it was like, I got my license the other day and I sold out. Like yeah. it was. And it closes in two weeks. Yeah. And that's uh, flooded the market with more and more agents. I think they can't restrict the number of licenses because um, it would suggest maybe a monopoly of the market. Right. And there's already yeah. a lot of competition laws. In fact, that's a big thing going on in the States um, where one of the major players in um, the space has petitioned the American uh, Association of Realtors to effectively stop requiring there to be buyers, agents, commissions in order to be Saw that. on the MLS system. All these things are going on. Like they, they, there is a push out there to not have. Um, we got to do a realtor special. Totally. We're, we're covering that in a realtor special. But basically, we can't say, well, no one else gets a license because then you as a, a member of the public are really stuck of like, well, I have to go through organized real estate. I feel like I have to go through the MLS system. And now I have to go with one of the realtors currently licensed and no one else can get in. And maybe that is actually f- for the best, but it's not going to be received well. And the idea of preventing people from entering into an industry is maybe not a good thing. I sort of think there uh-huh. should be higher resist like testing after the fact and like if you want to keep your license you have to be good and productive um and i think they could they could put production requirements i will say to end this though you look at a lot of other licenses for example like taxi license and vendor licenses in a lot of cities for certain products yeah they are restricted and limited yeah but um we'll we'll get into that i think we'll do a real special thanks for watching that clip from master keys podcast check out that full episode here don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and share our podcast. When, 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 when I was broke, I had rich habits. Uh. When I was broke, I had rich habits. Uh.